Hey guys, we are back with PC for day three. Um, probably gonna be the last run with the Calyrex team. Um, just grinding out some games here. Just thought we'd bring them to you. Uh, Justin's on the line too. Say hi. Hey, what's going on, everybody? We're just uh, getting getting through this tournament, having some fun. Yep. Um, so they've got Zacian. We know they're gonna bring Zacian in the back. Uh, is it safe to assume that they might bring? Um, Lapras to start? Yeah, that could also be, uh, I'm just worried about maybe Timmy Top sucker punching into Dragapult weakness policy. Just something to think about. That's true, too. Uh, we could lead Grim Snarl and Porygon here, and then bring our, I, I definitely think we bring Incineroar, right? In the back. And then Calyrex as well. I like Porygon out front. Yeah, we, okay, who else, who else do you like with him? Grim or, or Zap? Probably Grim. I like Grim. I don't want to bring Zap. Yeah, I don't like I don't like Zap against um, taking like an yeah. Aurora Veil or something or um, whatever they call that move. And then you do Insin Calyrex. That's what I was thinking. Get some screens and a Trick Room up, and then try to go ham. Yeah. So, um, Justin, your thoughts on PC4 so far? Like, just uh, what are you seeing? What, what kind of like meta stuff are you seeing um, through your game? Wow. Lots and lots and lots of Zacian teams, lots of Regieleckis, lots of Urshifu Dark. Yep. Um, oh. I don't know. It, 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 I feel like it's been about 75% Zacian, and I'm bringing Zacian myself, so I'm part of that. Yeah, unfortunately, I feel like this is um, bring Zacian or lose. Is it like, you know what I mean? Uh, that, that's like the biggest. Oh, whoa, Intrepid Sword. I don't. I don't have bubble play. <laughs> uh, um, probably definitely just trick room here and reflect. Otherwise, you heart switch to to Ensign. To Ensign and reflect. Let's try that. Those are the two plays I'm thinking of. Yeah. Let's try that. Because if we could fake out. Intimidate and reflect. I'm because I'm assuming here he's gonna go steel type move into. Grim Snarl. Into Grim. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right, right. So Trick Room, Trick Room, and then Hard Switch Grim out, or do you want the you want screens? No, I was thinking Intimidate and Reflect. Okay. Hard Switch Duck. Yes. And Intimidate. So Intimidate plus Reflect, and we should take it pretty decent. I follow you. I follow you. Yeah. Get some defense going here. Uh huh. Obviously, Clear Body on the Dragon, so that's. Yeah, we're nothing we can do about that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now we have a fake out for turn two. Yes. This might be an airstream. Yeah, we kind of, kind of know who this one is for sure. He might have doubled down into Grim, otherwise airstream into the duck. Just something to keep note of is that if he's Dynamaxing a dragon, we could definitely ally switch with a fairy type. That's true. Okay, so there's an airstream like you called. That's a lot Perfect. of damage. Just like we thought. Yep. No, I like that. I, I think we took that pretty decently, actually. We're still in the green. Ooh, Sacred Sword into the duck. That was the play. Yeah. Oh, but look at that. The berry. The reflect. Terminate coming in clutch, bro. Look at that. So, what we could do here. Force them to protect, right? I was gonna say we could max, um, we could max Ensign and Guard, but I, the, without the Trick Room, it doesn't gain us too much. No, it doesn't. Um, and then I feel like Grim Snarl is kind of doing a lot of nothing here. I say you fake out the dog, and you could switch out Grim to the duck. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, yeah, we could swim. We could, we could, we could guard here. And then we could switch the duck in, and then we could like ally switch into, and then you know we could force some misdirection with the duck next turn, like just safely get the I duck in. I trust your judgment. Because you could have Dynamax Calyrex later too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just like I like Incense matchup against these two Pokemon. Yeah, especially against the dog. Yep. If we can get him to safely get some moves off, I like it. I just, I just have such a hard time 
maxing Calyrex in front of the dog because it's super effective. 200 base Behemoth Blade on Calyrex, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's the biggest obstacle that I've had so far with this team is the fact that Cali or that Zacian is just so broken. Nice, we blocked the warm wind. Oh, he's going into the Grim. Yep. Okay. We should take this nice. God, yep. still a KO. Oh, it was a crit. Oh, oh crit. my god. Why? Okay. I kind of want to. the next one. I want to ally switch and flare into the Zacian yeah, spot. Yeah, switch, flare the Zacian. Yeah. It's gonna be hard to get a trick room up with this kind of offense right in our face. Because of the crit, yeah. Yeah. But we're not out yet. It depends on what he does. No, no, no. If, if we can one hit KO Zacian here, then that'd be cool. Now uh, with a worm wind, I don't think we will, but. Damage is damage. Sacred sword. Boom! Poor Porygon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. This should be a dead Zacian. And if not, it sets up the sun. Yeah. Ooh, the worm wind mattered. Yeah, it did. So I think even if Zacian protects here, um, we could still KO. It's just a matter of what spot he targets. Does he does he put a premium on getting rid of Grim or? I think you spirit break the Dragapult. I agree. And then, and then guard again. Because if the sun is up and Ensign still has Fake Out plus Will O Wisp. We don't want to lose Ensign. I think it'd be better to just hard switch into Calyrex in that case? No, I think you just guard. It's not going to lose us anything, except one turn of sun, right? Yeah, but if he he's faster enough, so if he's going to attack that slot, then it's better to do it That's now. What I mean. cause... Yeah, well, uh, okay, okay. I kind of I, I kind of see what you're saying. It's just we will get KO'd by Zacia next turn if we don't do it now. No, no, no. You, yeah, yeah, but... The... You also have the option to swap out late. Like, you don't need to hard swap right now. You just guard. And look, he can't do anything to Grimmsnarl. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. So waste a turn. Look at that. And now we're going to get nice spirit break damage. So, because he's got... You want to be ah. able to... Ooh, that's almost a kill, bro. Yeah. Super easy cleanup with a Glacial Lance. Because now what you're set up to do is potentially swap out Cali into Calyrex. Mm-hmm. Or you swap out Grim, either one. But I think you need to swap out Incineroar to save it, because he can come back in with a Fake Out, another Intimidate, and potentially a Will-O-Wisp or a Flare Blitz in the Sun. Yeah, um, I, I definitely like Spirit Breaking and Dragapult, right? Spirit Breaking and Dragapult, and, and then Hard Switch. Swap out, yeah. Because you still have Reflect Up, so I don't end with the, the Intimidate. I don't think uh, Behemoth Blade will kill without a crit on the Grim. Or the Calyrex, for that matter. Yeah. It's a little tricksy, but, I mean, I definitely think we have potential here. This isn't going to do much. Oh, they both go into that slot. Yep, because of the fairy. But he's Life Orb, so now he just dies. Yep. Super nice for us. And now the Spirit Break is actually going to be a nice little chip onto the Doggo. So it depends on where he throws the blade. Oh, see, so it's on Grim. Five. Wow, still almost KOs. Holy, holy cow. And see, now Fake Out will come back in, and that's like super easy revengeable. Yep. Shifu. Shifu Dark. Hmm. Check, uh, we hit plus. Is there any need for light screen? Uh, he Probably has a not. Lapras. That's, that's it. Just Lapras, so I don't think we need light screen. Oh, no. No. Do we need taunt for anything? 
I don't think so. Otherwise, you just spear break the Urshifu just in case. Yeah, we're kind of we're, we're kind of up damage. we're kind of up Poop Creek here. Yeah, we read the we read the lead totally wrong. Oh, oh, he draws. Oh, there is a Lapras. Dude, I almost okay, see, I almost CC into that spot, but. Dang. That always gets off. Yeah, 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 but it's, it's unfortunate that he uh, KO'd. Focus Sash. Yeah, so this is a tough one because it's like we definitely have to. You just fake out to kill Urshifu, right? Yeah. And then Spirit break the lap? Yeah, that or light screen, but that doesn't save us against Zacian. No. And then Spirit break will be essentially kind of the same thing. Okay, good detect. Oh dang! I didn't. I didn't know that hit your opponent, or your partner. Yeah, it's a. It's like surf. No. Oh. So that goes to show how much I use that move. Unfortunate. Yeah, this is definitely like bring Zacian or lose. This team is so weak to Zacian, and he's like easily the most used Pokemon in this format right now. Yeah. As far as like the restricted mons go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We can stand up to Incineroar with Calyrex, but we can't do anything against Zacian. Alright, grab another. Oh, yeah. Yeah, next Player's Cup, I'm literally just bringing a meta team. <laughs> I'm not doing anything except grabbing the six most used Pokemon and just using those. <laughs> All right, we got Sun Team and a Rain Squad. Okay, so Calyrex actually looks good here. Um, like no matter what weather they bring, he looks good. Um, he doesn't have Intimidate. I say you lead. Honestly, I kind of want to just lead Calyrex. I kind of had that thought too. Like we could lead Calyrex Grim. Because look at this. Who, look who his Uber is. Yeah, ground. Up. That's how I'm leaning towards my thought process. I want to lead Calyrex Incineroar or Calyrex Porygon 2 is my thought. And just Dynamax turn one with Calyrex. Yeah. Um He's got no answer for Trick Room. Uh, that's, that's what I'm that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I kinda like Trick Room here. Like if if he leads And then Incineroar in the back. Um Yes, yes, Incineroar in the back. Um, because we can change the weather with Hail. Yep. And then it's either Hatterene or Grimmsnarl. Um, Hatterene here looks really good if we are in the Trick Room. Yeah, but screens, let's try the screens it. look good too. So, um, screens look really good too against G-Max, Charizard in the Sun. Yeah. So we need to think about how... And, and the only one that can change weather is Gigantamax Calyrex, so we're not going to be Gigantamax Hatterene. Let's bring Hat in case he's got like Sleep Powder or Hypnosis, so we can bounce uh -huh. that back. Yep. With magic bounce ability is what he's talking about, folks, if you're watching. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Seven. Yeah. For that lead card from me. That's a decent one. A lot of, a lot of corny Mimi faces on these lead cards. But it's cutesy. That's all right. Reiku Venusaur. Um, Probably a Groudon in the back. Probably, yeah. Like, he could click. Um, or the Reiku could have uh, Rain Dance. Yeah. Um... What did I just trace here? Chlorophyll? Dang, that doesn't help us. Um, it could, potentially. I'm just worried about... Uh, so I could... I'm worried about him swapping in Groudon turn one and then sleep powdering one of these mons. 
but he doesn't have much of a switch into Hailstorm, so... We... You know what you should do? Yeah. You could swap out Calyrex to Katarine, the hat. and then click Trick Room. Yeah. Because then you magic bounce the, the Sleep Powder, potentially, if that's what you're worried about. Yeah, that covers at least one of the spots, you know what I mean? Yep. Yep. And then Calyrex is still saved, and you could potentially Gigantum... Oh, look, Ooh. he swaps out. And with the Intimidate. See, look, we avoid the Intimidate. Look at that. It actually worked out pretty well. Yep. Because, like, you know what I mean? We could potentially yep. max... Um, so no one's... We could still max Katarina, yeah. and we could still max... And we can bring back in the horse free of Intimidate, too. Because you're clicking Trick Room now. Oh, Hatterene missed. Look at that. Yeah. He a Thunder. That's super clutch. So I think he might go back to Venusaur here. Um, on a... I think you swap out the duck back into the horse. I kind of want to just dazzle here for Chip. I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't know how I feel about No, no, no don't max. Yeah. Don't max. Yeah, cause it, dazzle. Yeah. Because if he goes back you know, into Venusaur, you, then. Pop the duck to the horse. Or you go to Ensign for the Intimidate, but I think the horse is better here for the either, either Glacial Lance or the Dynamax. Yeah, he he will have a really hard time switching into Glacial Lance, especially after, um, especially after the Dazzling Gleam comes in and breaks, breaks a potential Sash on Reku. Yeah, 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 that's a good point too. Ooh, here comes Salamence out. Here comes Groudon. Oh, oh, it's Max time now. It is. Unless this does a lot, you know, we could. We could we could just lance. Mm, I don't know if I'll pick up a KO. No, I think you ice. Oh, does, magic doesn't work that way, yeah. buddy. Doesn't work that way. Look at that, dude. That's so cool. Get out of here, stupid cat. And thunder in the sun is weaker too. I'm gonna lie. I uh, think I think dazzle plus lance will pick up a KO on both of these. Yeah, I do too. If you don't want to max, if that's what you're saying, then I don't think you need to. Yeah, like, I would hate to lose. And if he swaps out either spot, then you hit a Lance with a super effective because you know he has a Dragon Flying or a Grass type. See? There you go. Boom. Oh, uh, you're yeah, about to I, don't, I don't think Intimidate. Well, Intimidate might save his Groudon if he maxes. That's the only play there. If he maxes. Yeah. And he doesn't. Or she. Nope. Yeah, this is just it. Oh, wow. The Dazzle picks up the kill. Yes. Hattering, it's so strong. Yeah, dude. Oh, this is a single Glacial Lance. One of the best animations in the game. Goodbye, Groudon. Here it is, folks. Watch it. <gasps> Goodbye, Groudon. In the fur. Yeah, this is an easy win, bro. This is a 4 0 sweep, yeah. dude. If I get in a Trick Room, this team's actually pretty good against Sun. Trick Room's really good. So out comes Venusaur, and now you Dynamax to, so he doesn't, uh, he's probably going to Max Flare you, and we're in the sun. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking about Flare, and then Dynamax Hat, and then Mindstorm the, because I think, I like just getting the chip with Lance here. Because if we already got in the back, we got, so I think you just, I think you Dynamax the horse and ice the, and just one shot the Venusaur. True. Personally. Um, so we could psychic. It depends on who you want to feature. Either one could pick up the kill. So it depends on who you want to feature for the video. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm going gonna, gonna to max hat. I'm going to max hat. Do it, bro. And then. You're the psychic trainer, man. I believe in, they're both psychic. But you're, I believe in that's you. That's true. I don't really think of psychic when I think of Calyrex, honestly. Yeah, she's uh, Celebi typing. Psychic grass. Yeah. Hey, did you click uh, Lance? Yeah, I clicked Lance. Just because nice. Lance plus Psychic will pick up the KO on Venusaur. And then Reiku's, Reiku's a non threat. Yep. I honestly think Psychic might almost one shot. I think so too. It's Life Orb. It's close because she's so strong. Yeah. She is so strong. That's one, that's one of the reasons I picked her for the OU like sleeper picks. Yep, I agree. Set up a trick room and she's one of the best Pokemon in the game. Yeah, jeez. Oh my god. 
She one shot two pokes in a row. Yeah, dude. She's got the thumbnail now. Yeah. Back to the thumbnail with you. That's so awesome, dude. Nice work. Nice work. And now Lance is single target, so this is just one shot, even through the Intimidate. Yep. Riku's not very defensive. All right. But uh, at least on the physical side, usually, unless they're doing, like, some weird calm mindset, which I don't obviously expect that's what it yeah. is. GG to our opponent. Yeah. GG to our, all of our opponents, obviously. Yeah, for real. If we don't, if we don't say it, we definitely mean no. it. <laughs> okay. Uh, you want to grab another? You want to grab another or just call it at that? I, I'm whatever. It's player's choice, sir. Uh, let's just call it. We can work on some other stuff. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That's a really good... Uh, at least we do get to feature the team a little bit. We get to see sort of uh, a different end of the strength, which is really nice. I love seeing that Hatterene. Obviously, that's one of your favorite pokes in 8th gen. Is that your number one favorite poke in 8th gen? It's either that or Grim Snarl. And then, like, Ndidi's in the back for, like, an honorable mention. But, yeah, one of those two. So, uh, Oh, hold on. Which Ndidi? Male. Definitely Ndidi. Male, male? form, yeah. Really? Like is, that a, is that a competitive choice or is that a heart choice? A little of both. Because competitively, I like just hitting choice specs expanding force and just erasing things. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's just kind of this fun little... I don't know. I just feel like he's a little overlooked psychic Pokemon. You know what I mean? I like psychic Pokemon and... It, the the self-boost of the terrain, or, uh, excuse me, the boost of the self-starting uh, terrain is really, really cannot be understated. Yep, I agree. It's strong, man. So, and like you said, he does the expanding force. Yeah. So um, that's going to do it for Players' Cup 4 coverage from us. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the footage. We did not play as well as we had, ho as we had hoped. Um, I, I, it was a really tough weekend, but we did have a lot of fun a lot and i i always love vgc because this is like the newer thing for me yeah. so singles i feel a lot more comfortable vgc i give myself a lot more like slack or credit so i don't feel as bad if i make mistakes yeah, yeah. Of, a lot more a lot more room to make mistakes i would feel like um i would 100%. say um but yeah uh, i'm excited for series nine um very so we got a lot of things we want to feature like galarian darmanitan uh turdinator yes Brandon's got a Dragonite. It's one of his favorite Pokemon of all time. Yep. Might be I'm, I'm going to try to give you guys a Scizor team. I'm going to try so hard to get a, a, a decent Scizor team. Um, what, we're going to do lots of, Brandon, lots of ranked climbing with, with, with those teams. Oh, yeah. One of Brandon's children has requested that we try to... He wants a video of Appleton. That's one of his favorite <laughs> Pokemon of all yeah. time. And he re, so we're also going to try to make uh, Gigantamax Appleton. Yep. Workout yep. Series Nine. That could be a fun project. So we have a lot of things on. We've got over two pages worth of notes getting ready for Series Nine projects. Yeah. So uh, it's a it'd be a fun time. Yeah. So hopefully you guys do, did better in the Players Cup Four than we did. Uh, let us know in the comments below if you did well or if you did terrible. Um, we're definitely yeah. Let us know what you had. Who was the most uh, like in terms of all your opponents? What was the most seen uh, opposing? Uber selection, the restricted mod. Yep. For us, it was definitely Zashi. Yeah, for sure. Um, definitely. I saw definitely. I saw more Zashi than anything yeah, else. Yeah, I, I, I did too. Um, which is you know. So we, that that's the question I would love to know from everybody down in the comments. What was the number one restricted poke that you fought against Players Cup weekend? Yeah, I, I agree. I like that. Nice question of the day. So that's gonna wrap it up for us. Um, Justin, it's been fun playing Players Cup four. Um, Absolutely, man. GG's. Yeah, GG's. Uh, so we will catch you guys on the next one. Absolutely. Until next time, I'm Justin. I'm Zero. Class is dismissed. <laughs>